Hey guys, it's Wayne Santos, one of the editors here at CGM, and this week for Sound Off, I'm actually going to be pseudo sounding off um, about HD remasters. Now, I know that this has actually been a bit of a hot topic lately because we've got so many of them coming out, and now we've had like, you know, more recent announcements, you know, it's like games like Sleeping Dogs and Saints Row 4, and I know at this point people are going like, why? Why does this keep happening? Why do you guys keep taking these games from the previous generation and repackaging them for the current generation? Now, I've got two things to say about this. Um, one, obviously, is that these games are for sale, not that, you know, it's like, um, this is a draft notice where, you know, it's like the American or Canadian government is issuing you an order saying that you have to purchase these games. So it's still a choice. You can completely leave these games alone if you want to, or you can pick them up if you don't. You know, it's like a, it, it really is just a matter of personal preference. But um, what I'm here to say is that maybe not necessarily for the consumer, but for the developers themselves, there is actually a certain amount of common sense and value in doing these HD remasters. Um, probably the simplest way to explain this is this is a way for these studios to send their staff to quote unquote current generation console school and learn the ropes with these new systems and you know possibly make a little bit of money while not necessarily killing themselves on a brand new IP or even a brand new sequel to an existing IP which will call for the creation of brand new assets, new voice acting, blah 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 blah. It was like basically what this does is it lets all the really important staff, um, not necessarily the directors and I mean the directors and the programmers and the art directors, they're important, but you have to remember these are games. The really important people are the coders, the artists, all of the people that do that background work to make the director's vision come to life. And these are the guys that really have to come to grips with the new hardware. Doing an HD remaster is a safe way to allow these guys to do that. You don't really have to look any further than uh, Naughty Dog with The Last of Us HD remaster, or HD plus if you want to call it that since it already was HD in the PS3 era. You know, it's like, rather than taking three or four years to make like a brand spanking new game because they still have to worry about Uncharted 4, they just sent their staff to school. You know, it's like they took an existing game where they didn't have to worry about creating new assets, a game that everybody loved, and they basically put these guys to the task of learning the ropes of the new system in a quick and efficient way so that they could just concentrate on the nuances of the system without having to worry about the strain of having to create all kinds of new stuff. Um, if you want to look at, you know, it's like what happens when you don't do this, you have to look no further than Atlas. Um, because what they did was they decided, okay, we're used to making games on the PS2, we don't really know how to make games on the PS3, so let's teach ourselves how to do this. And as a result, we got no new Persona game in the last generation of consoles. Instead, they spent all of their time making Catherine, which was admittedly a great game, but it took so long for them to make that game that when push finally came to shove, and I'm sure that there was some talk in the background with Sony, they finally decided, okay, you know what, for the new Persona game, let's cut our losses, we'll still make the PS3 version, but let's make the PS4 version as well because most of the people are moving over to that console already. So as a result, technically last generation owners of the PS3 are still getting a Persona game, but you know, really, most people that are going to play the game are going to play it on the PS4 because that version is available. And this is a result of, you know, Atlas, like most Japanese developers, having a bit of trouble wrestling with the PS3 and spending way more time than they needed to on that system. Doing an HD remaster is a fast, safe way for these people to learn how to make games for new technology. And if you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. But if it teaches them the ropes in a way that makes them better at making the new games for the new consoles faster, I say more power to them. I don't have to buy the game if I don't like it, and you don't either, but the education that the staff gets from working on these games is invaluable for all of us. See ya.